This conventional pack faction is often least likely to be voted for, but might just deploy the most effective combination of heavier armored vehicles. For this video, I will provide an overview of the People's Liberation Army, then weigh the faction's pros and cons to determine their overall practical strength. Citing squad developers directly, the People's Liberation Army is the primary armed force of the People's Republic of China, and the largest military force in the world today. Sweeping reforms over several decades have sought to modernize and build counters to peer threats, while expanding capacity for maritime power projection. In-game, Chinese soldiers are distinguished by their use of either Desert, Arid, or Universal Digital Camouflage, named Type 7, for uniform pattern, and Desert or Woodland Digital Vehicle Paint, respectively. Being a member of the Pack Alliance, the faction has the ability to deploy to nearly every map, except those in Northern Europe, and can oppose units from the Blue 4, Independent, and Red 4 alliances. For unit variety, the PLA has six available unit types, Air Assault, Armored, Combined Arms, Light Infantry, Motorized, and Support. Their default unit deploys a single ZTZ main battle tank, one ZBD tracked IFV, and two ZBL wheeled IFVs, in addition to standard logistics and transport assets. In terms of effective infantry combat, there is very little that is outstanding about the People's Liberation Army. One benefit, much like their amphibious and naval counterparts, Chinese ground forces are also issued the PF-98 rocket launcher for heavy anti-tank armament, which displays a digital rangefinder to the operator for simplified range target acquisition. However, where the PLA truly shines is in their vehicle advantages. First, the team's heavier assets, their main battle tank and IFVs, feature top-tier technological attributes, such as rangefinders, stabilizers, and AT-guided missiles. And additionally for the ZSL, the standard viewing window for the driver is replaced with a wide, 180-degree rotating camera. Furthermore, the faction's armor achieves peak versatility, blessed with all types of mobility for their equipment, both tracked and wheeled options for IFVs, greatly enhanced by amphibious capabilities. Next, they deploy the same Z-8G helicopter as the amphibious assault brigades, featuring outstanding passenger cargo space for 27 soldiers. Lastly, again mirroring other parallel Chinese forces, CTM-131 transport trucks have a turret mounted on top to better protect squads riding in the vehicle's four-doored cabin. Now where PLA infantry begin to lose efficiency is with their suboptimal armament. Mainly, bullpup QBZ-95 rifles with clunky sight options make for questionable performance due to combination of rate of fire and handling. While the LATS rocket launcher is notoriously slow to equip, and its simple optic is maxed out at 300 meters. This is only worsened by the team's aerial disadvantage. Though their helicopter is impressive in size, it has notably challenging maneuverability and does not mount machine guns on its sides making heli gun runs impossible for the force. Overall, the ground forces of the People's Liberation Army are best played by tuning into their specific strengths. While downrange, Type 7 uniforms and digital vehicle paints blend in with biomunique rocks and urban areas much better than in terrain or foliage. To maintain strong combative superiority, Chinese forces find the most success in prioritizing long-distance heavy anti-tank operations by keeping hat kits armed and ready at all times. Finally, the prowess of the PLA comes from optimized combined arms and anti-armor tactics in general, thanks to technologically advanced tanks and IFEs working together in unison. I welcome you to share your thoughts on the PLA or provide me and the comment readers useful feedback, especially if something significant about the faction was missed. Also, I've created a group for viewers of the channel to commune and squad up for game sessions. 
Relevant information is in the video descriptions. Anyway, thanks for watching and stay tuned for more.